Hey y'all, this is Jeremy French, Grasslands Wildlife Biologist with Quail Forever and Southeastern Grasslands Initiative in the field again this week for another Wildflower of the Week. This week is Lobelia cardinalis or cardinal flower. Let's take a look here. So here we are with our Wildflower of the Week, cardinal flower or Lobelia cardinalis. And it's characterized by these really, really stunning bright red blooms just look at them at the top there it is like super bright almost fire truck red just all over the place here in this side actually um, and just really gorgeous one of the brightest things you'll see this time of year and it's characterized and additionally by that by it has this long unbranched stem with alternate leaves and we zoom in here, you can see those leaves are toothed on the edge and they have, they come to like, they're oblong and come to a kind of a lance tip on both sides. So there's actually a ton of really cool facts about this plant um, and, and it's just really good wildlife plant and I think it's, it's stunning. So this plant occurs in wet or moist soils from Minnesota all the way down to the Gulf and, and into the eastern parts of the country, um, which is, is super great. And it's got, look at that, God, isn't that just stunning? Um, it also has some historical um, uses by Native American tribes. It's often used it for decorations because, I mean, look, look how beautiful that is. Um, and it was also boiled down to treat cramps and even, you know, di different things at the time. It's really amazing how a lot of our native plants um, were used in different ways by our, our native tribes before we got here and even, you know, into today. Now, one really cool thing about this plant is that it's got really complex tubes on these flowers. So the main pollinator for this plant is actually hummingbirds. And I don't know if we'll see them on video, but the whole time I've been in the site today, there's been two or three hummingbirds coming to all these plants and, and pollinating them and, and using their nectar source. And, and that's just super awesome. They're also good for deer browse um, and pretty easy, honestly, to grow. Now, They'll grow it, get a seed head, and in October, it's really easy to come snip the seed head off and put those in your wet and moist soils, and they're, they're comparatively, comparatively easy to grow compared to most native plants. Um, so really, really cool native species here. If you've got some wet soils, um, you can look online for some seed, or you can find some areas that's got some cardinal flower blooming and, and plant some seed from that, and enjoy this gorgeous, gorgeous bloom and enjoy some hummingbirds this year.